modern vehicle equipped with an internal combustion engine loses about 25-30% of the fuel energy in form of heat dissipated in the exhaust gases, which can reach the temperature of 700 degrees Celsius. This high temperature source can be used to feed the thermodynamic cycles for energy production. In the automotive industry, exhaust gases heat recovery with the thermoelectric generator is being developed by several companies using solid state materials. In Magenta project, a thermoelectric generator based on thermoelectrochemical cells was studied to demonstrate thermal to electric energy conversion capacity of ionic liquids from the exhaust gases of internal combustion engines. The design of each component of the generator is performed by Gemmate Technologies with the software SOLIDWORKS and COMSOL Multiphysics. Thermal and fluid dynamics simulations are performed to verify the characteristics of the prototype. The realization of each component is performed in CRF workshop using computerized numerical control machines and welding tools. During the construction, minor modifications on some components are suggested by the workshop operators. Particular attention is focused on the integration of the components of the generator to fulfill all the requirements on maximum dimensions available and to simplify the production and the assembly of the prototype. Each modification proposed has been accurately evaluated by constant and proactive discussion between German technologies and the CRF workshop experts to always improve the initial design. The assembly of the prototype is performed in CRF laboratories. One of the characteristics of the proposed design is to have a modular approach with simple geometry components aiming at facilitating the assembly of the prototype and to have the possibility of dismantling a portion of the system to replace or modify one component without losing the prototype integrity. The assembly of the prototype is started by the 12 cells made by hot and cold plates, cell body, current collectors and insulators. At this point, electrical connections are placed on the current collectors of each cell. Then each pair of cells is coupled on the heat exchangers by means of a set of fasteners. Separately, the supporting structure and the manifolds are assembled in the testing bench and the six heat exchangers with the cell are mounted. Finally, ionic liquids water cooling connection and temperature measurement system are placed and tested. Filling process is performed by a peristaltic pump and inlet and outlet pipes when the assembly is completely mounted to reduce as much as possible the manipulation of the cells with ionic liquid and to reduce the risk of leakage. The tests on the prototype are performed on the single cell and on the full generator to better evaluate the characteristics of the system. Thanks to the modularity of the components, several tests are also performed changing the characteristic of some cells or by reducing the number of the heat exchangers. A potentiostat galvanostat testing instrument is used for the measurements. The voltage is measured while the current is shifted from 0 mA to the maximum value based on the system tested. 
this thermoelectric generator was conceived to be integrated in the exhaust line downstream to the engine of a normal production vehicle in a configuration that is representative of a device for automotive applications.